Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have completed the successfully the view router concept. Now let's move on to the most awaiting thing that is the state management in view 3. How we can implement the state management in the view 3. In our previous videos or in our previous playlist, if you try to observe, so we have already did the view 3 and also the view 2. So we have did some couple of playlists in now in the view js. Not only view 2, view 3 also we have did, but with an options API. But right now we are doing with the composition API. Now let's say that <clears throat> if you try to see observe so many things, so the state management pattern, so which we need to use it in the view is suggested is the view X. So right now I don't know what is the version running in the view X or anything. So if you try to see here the view X, if you search here in the Google or somewhere, view X. So let's uh, such a new tab. Is this new tab not working? So if you search in the internet or somewhere in order to implement the state management pattern, the view state management, you try to see. Let's see. So what is the suggestion one? So you'll be able to see the state management and here you'll be able to see the view X. If I go to the view X, so now here you'll be able to see the message itself in the above. Pinia is now the new default. So the official state management library for view has been changed to Pinia. Pinia has almost the exactly the same or enhanced API as Vuex5 described in the Vuex5 RFC means request for comments. You could simply consider Pinia as the Vuex5 with a different name. Pinia also works well with Vue2.x also as well. So Vuex3 and 4 are still be maintained. However, it's unlikely to add new functionalities to it. So Vuex and Pinia can be installed in the same project. If you are migrating existing Vuex to Pinia, you might be have so it might be a suitable option. However, if you are planning to start a new project, we highly recommend using Pinia first. So that means so Vuex has been shifted to the Pinia. So more probably what I can say is P Vuex has been renamed to the Pinia. If I click on the Pinia. So whenever you are trying to use the Vuex, when you are trying to start a new project, whether it is maybe a Vue 2 or a Vue 3. I will suggest you the state management pattern which you are using is the Pinia and afterwards slowly you can migrate from Vuex to Pinia also already existing project you can do it. So now we need to know about this Pinia. So this is what we are trying to cover in this uh, session or in this playlist. So view 3 Pinia is a state management pattern. So which is the Vuex 5 only so that is why rename it to Pinia or otherwise Pinia is, it, Pinia is a new one. You can use a Vuex but Pinia is the default one which we need to use it. So we now we'll shift to the Pinia. So now you understood why Pinia has came. So what uh, why Vuex we should not consider it. So Pinia is now it's a default thing. So we understood about this and all. So now Pinia as has the same syntax like uh, what I can say is you like the Vuex. So whatever the things you have learned like uh, actions. So right now mutations will not be there in the Pinia. State actions getters all those things will be there in Pinia. Also we'll try to see one by one. If you try to see here, it has been started around November 2019, it seems. So all the major principles and all those things remains the same only. Pinia works for both Vue 2 and Vue 3 and does not require you to use the composition API. So if you have the composition API knowledge also, it's well and fine. If you don't have the composition API also, that's okay. Right? So now <clears throat> we'll learn about this Pinia. So now we understood about this Pinia. So in this video, what we will try to do is we will do a simple example how we can start the Pinia and how we can create a simple app. Now, not a simple app, just a counter. So basic counter will do, will do it. And afterwards, we will try to elaborate one by one, one by one concept we'll learn in these videos. So first, what we'll do is in order to start with Pinia. So this is our project, right? Which is a view router. In this view router only, we'll do it. So first, we need to install the Pinia. How we can install it? So simply, so we can have npm install pinia that's it the pinia will be installed so if you go here let's it will take some time to install the pinia let it install so pinia has been installed now what i want to do is so let's go to here in the main.js so now we need to use the pinia so how can i use this pinia simply so first we need to create the pinia instance constant pinia is equal to create pinia okay so this should be imported from Pinia and this Pinia we need to provide it here. So app dot use app dot use of Pinia. That's it. So we have successfully added Pinia to our project. Now what we need to do is we need to create a store. So I will try to explain you this all the concept. So here we are having a stores folder. 
in the stores folders i am creating a simple file counter.js so now here in this one what we need to do so here we need to create a state here store so here export constant use counter store is equal to use counter store is equal to define store so we need to define a store for oh, you need to define a store so define a store so first one we need to give the store name the counter and it will take in couple of objects an object with a couple of options so first one is the state what is it say written first one is the state so state you can return the state variables what are the state variables you are having so you can return a count so zero and we will be having an actions so this could be defined uh, so what i can say is <clears throat> so actions let's say have these actions actions so now i will be having one simple method increment and i will do something like this dot count plus plus i will show you the another way of in composition implementation also first we will let's see so this dot count plus plus that's it now if you go to the home page okay let's go to the home page we need to use this store in our project right so this is our home page i want to use this count variable so do counter and i want to use this counter so here i need to use it so first we need to import the counter so constant counter is equal to use counter store okay so we will be calling this counter store and here if you want to use it so here we can go directly call counter dot count that's it now let's see the output how it will look like so if you go to the home page and if i refresh this page okay we need to run the server so let us run this server give server let us run this one so server has been started so let's go here in the counter and if i refresh see counter is zero so the initial value is zero right now let's have a button so that we will increment this button so this button yeah i'll be having a button and here in this button i will increment the counter increment okay i'll be having this one and here i can call at the rate click is equal to so i can use counter dot increment which is used in the method so there increment dot counter so here this is the method i am trying to call it here that's it so if i try to see if i increment this one see i am able to increment the counter now this one is a state management right so how can i tell that this one will be existing the value will be existing in all the components let's go to the about dot view okay about dot view and here so i will be using constant counter is equal to use counter store that's it so let's import and here also we will be using this counter so here i will be having do counter counter dot count okay i will directly use without counter name so let's try to use it this much we have did it right counter yeah mm, yeah now i am increasing the counter 14 so right now the counter is 15 if i go to the about see still the counter 15 is existing now if i go here and if i increment it and here counter 17 is existing so this is how the simple state management pinia will works so this is how the syntax actually works in the pinia so simple so what we have created we have created the store with a counter name okay and here this is all the things we are having so this is a state variable and these are the methods which we will be trying to use it and whatever the component you are trying to import the counter uh, store so you can use this use counter store like that and you can use it wherever you want it so this is a simple example how the pina looks like i am trying to explain you so we will learn one by one concept and all those things so in the upcoming videos so this is how the basic setup so will be hope you understood about the basic thing in in the pina if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and also what i will try to do is so here i will try to commit this one video hyphen 66 whoever may be having a doubts in this one so they can take uh, they can go to this particular branch and they can check this pinia thing so pinia installation so pinia simple example so the the description uh, the link for this github will be provided in the description below so you can take a look at this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please please do sub support me by subscribing to my channel thank you